Hello everybody, welcome back to St. Michael's Railway. Um, I suppose you've <laughs> probably forgotten who I am. It's been uh, it's been a very long time since I've done the last video. I've uh, been recording stuff and then just didn't edit it and then deleted it because I didn't even know what I was filming. Um, most of it's just sort of like running stuff. Um, I tend to do things and change stuff spur of the moment and always end up uh, forgetting to record um so anyway that's uh that's me um so today's video uh is uh i waited i waited for a very very long time um to get this and uh i don't think anyone actually knows what it is so um this video the the name isn't going to be in the description uh start again the the title won't give it away so hopefully um so anyway i've seen this a few times and then i saw um charlie from chadwick model railway i see him featuring it um and then i thought yeah i, I need that in my life um i always used to think it was a little bit of an ugly duckling but it's definitely grown on me over time um so i picked up today um i've been in the shed for, uh, and yeah blown away by sheer the just the quality of it and uh and the sound is absolutely fantastic um so yeah just a little short running video of my new edition um and uh hopefully you're also uh blown away by it like i am so i'm not gonna give it away just yet i want to see if anyone knows what this sound is
So apparently I have strobe light in the new fuel station. Apparently. So, I hope you uh, agree that the Western Pullman is a, is a thing of uh, sheer beauty. Um, definitely, definitely uh, a lot better than I was anticipating, to be honest. I thought the price was a little bit dear. Um, but then, I, I, yeah, um, when it performs like that, I think uh, I think it speaks for itself. And I think then if you can sort of work out that the price is probably about right. Um, and uh, I just love all like the features on it where you can uh, have the, the table lamps lit or the actual cab lighting in the coaches lit um, and then the directional lights that do a slow fade into the uh, reverse or forwards and then the cab lighting um, will be at the end that it's going and then um, as soon as it starts to pull away the light shuts out uh, as if it would in real life and uh, it's twin motor and um, yeah it, it was just super smooth it's, um, yeah, I can't say enough of good things about it yet um, one bad thing is the couplers I mean if anyone's had one wow <laughs> um, 
I think the idea is to put it together, leave it in the fiddle yard and call it out when you're ready. Uh, as for me, everything gets locked away and uh, nothing gets left out on display. And uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the only thing that might get a little bit annoying because the coaches, uh, one got to go in order and two, the polarity's got to be right. So made the same mistake as Charlie um, by having I think that was the same coach actually, uh, D or E, um, had that the wrong way round and everything was lit up and I was like, well, this is, hang on a bit, <laughs> one of the coaches not lit, um, spun it round and uh, hey presto, <laughs> loser, <laughs> um, even reading the instructions uh, and I looked at the image and um, even tried to work out uh, like little details on the on the coach itself to make sure I had it the right way round, and yeah, that still didn't work for me. So I uh, I have to have another look actually because I think the image might be wrong. And um, uh, so in a quick in the in the video, you probably would have noticed some progress at uh, St Michael's. I've I have been in here. I've just been rubbish, um, not doing a lot really, not doing a lot of filming, and. Uh, I need to do more, I do miss it, um, it's one of them things, as time's gone on I found it harder and harder to get back to it, and uh, a better way to sort of come back in it with that, um, I have got, I have got a Steam Loco coming, and oh my god I can't wait to show you guys, so I don't know if you know that I've got um, a couple of uh, smoke uh, trains with smoke, uh, smoke units in the trains, uh, in, the, in the locos, and um, I've got one that runs off one decoder and one that runs off two decoders, so the, um, the variant with the train speed actually gives you more heat, less heat, so in turn that will give you more smoke, less smoke, and uh, I thought they were pretty good to be honest. Uh, the one that's just on a fixed decoder, that plume smoke, and it, it, it's not, it's good, I mean, but the one with the separate decoder is, uh, I thought that was amazing, um, until I saw a new style, and wow, so, um, resurrect, well, I've not done it personally, uh, they've resurrected my first loco, um, so it's had a new chassis, uh, fully rewired and um, some other little nasty things that uh, age has done to it uh, and shoddy repairs um, so I, I, I cannot wait I can't wait. I'm so excited it's like two to three weeks um, I've just been watching the progress and he's been hammering through it so uh, yeah I'm that impressed that I saw what he could do, and I brought his display one also, um, which was due to go to the Hornby magazine, um, and they were going to do a review on the loco, um, so I didn't want to wait. Um, if I'd known that, I probably would have waited um, before paying. <laughs> um, I got too, too excited, I was only going to put deposit down to <laughs> paid in full. So, uh, yeah, basically, um, that will be the next video. Um, probably a few of you might know, because you've probably seen it, uh, it's been circulating on the, on the model railway groups anyway, so you're probably going to know what it is. Um, I just can't wait to get the ends on, <laughs> and then um, we should do something naughty. Um, I don't know. Let's like uh, let's mix it up a bit. Get some get some diesels pulling some steam coaches like my first ever time on YouTube. I mean, <laughs> uh, we could do something like that and uh, just annoy a few people, I suppose. Um, but. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the way it runs that it's a little bit easier on the lungs. Um, I'm not asthmatic, but I mean, the, the side units, they do produce some nasty fumes, uh, especially in 
uh, this space here and um, yeah basically this is going to be cleaner probably better for the environment and all that jazz and uh, I should be able to let it smoke till my heart's content and not have to worry about oxygen so that's another big win for me hope you're all doing well uh, and, uh, and safe and uh, you know lockdown's not been too bad for you and uh, or furlough life has been really good for you uh, <laughs> yeah I don't think it's been good for anybody um, the only thing that was good for was the layout definitely not the bank balance but hey it's a hobby it is expensive um, but anyway uh, catch you on the next one and I hope I all see you soon Stay safe and tell after now.